Hey Philadelphia, welcome back to another episode of Small Business Saturday. My name is Mac, your host, and we're here with our new friend, Marcy Ziskin, the owner of The Expressive Hand here in South Philadelphia. So Marcy, I need to know your story. Tell me how you got started. So I was a bookkeeper to many small businesses for a lot of years, and one of them was this business. I came into it at the inception with the original owner, who is deaf, and she liked the expressive hand because it's what the deaf consider to be their beautiful language, and that's how she came up with that. Uh, term the expressive hand, but it also applies to the creative aspect of what we offer in this studio. And so what you offer, um, I know there's a lot of experiential things here, but just looking around, you know, what would you say it is that most people know you for? Um, just our access that we provide to everyday people um, who want to experience some creative endeavors. So um, we welcome walk-ins anytime we're open for business. We're BYOB, which just adds to the experience in my mind. Um, but we offer paint your own pottery, we have fused glass, we, you can make your own terrarium, we do acrylic flow paint on canvas, and then we have special events. So for Valentine's Day, we're actually doing string art where we're nailing, um, we're putting nails in a board. It's going to look like the love, the Robert Indiana love yeah, yeah, yeah. sign. And then um, we're going to give them different colors of embroidery thread and they wrap it around all the nails. And that's a make and take project. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, it's fun. What's your, this is probably a difficult question, but what's your favorite item in here that either you've made or that you've seen made? What's your favorite thing in here? Well, I do love the plates that we make based on the Robert Indiana love. Yeah, I just heard his story for the first time of, of like how he got that first statue made and designed and everything. Yeah, and they're all over the country, I think. Uh, is there anything that you would say has helped bring you to, you know, this point of being in business 11 years and having a lot of success? Uh, you know, what's been that cornerstone of the Express Pan? Well, um, my husband and I have been entrepreneurs for 35 years, and um, we've raised our children up as entrepreneurs, so they have helped me in this business, building this business. Um, I have all those values that um, strong business women have. I want to be part of the community, I want to give back to my community. I want everybody to feel welcome and happy and safe here. You know, it's not about the bottom line as much as it is creating this fabulous space that's for everybody. And we do a lot of fundraising because I feel it's really important as a business owner to give back. You know, it's really important for businesses to be part of the community and give back. And I would say that my community has supported me. My family has supported me. Um, I have a fabulous staff that encourages all of my values and is the face of me when I can't be in the studio. Right, that's important. Really important. For everybody watching, where can we find out more information, maybe online or like, you know, what's the address, phone number, all that? Okay, so we're at 622 South 9th Street, 267-519-2626. Um, we're all over so social media, so you can find us on Facebook, The Expressive Hand, Instagram, at Expressive Hand. We're on Pinterest. Um, all the good stuff. Twitter, Twitter, yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> we have a great website that my friend Scott Victor made for us. Very nice. Really awesome website. Um, 
And you can always call. There's somebody here to answer your questions and sign you up for events. Well, Marcy, thank you so much. Everybody, we better see you for Galentine's or Valentine's here at the Expressive Hand. Marcy, thank you so much. This has been thank amazing. You, yeah. We appreciate your time. Uh, and this has been another amazing episode of Small Business Saturday. See you next week.